Good afternoon. My name is Bill Sigler, and like you, I'm a student of bushcraft. What I'd like to share with you today, weirdly enough, in the wintertime, is how I use my Army-style caught mosquito net over top of my hammock. Now, I'm doing this now because I plan to very soon modify that to work much like an idea that was given to me on the Facebook page. Okay guys, uh, the initial setup is pretty much done. The bug net is in the middle of the hammock. Now the hammock probably would be a little bit higher, but I set it up like this so that you could pretty much see how it would be during regular use. Okay, I have the one end already tied on and I tie it on on the outside of the knot so that we can eventually completely encompass the entire hammock and it's nothing special it's just basically a little bow knot on and the knot of the hammock is right here okay we have the initial setup done here the left and the right knots are tied on the outside of where the knot for the hammock is and as you can see here on the right hand side and the left hand side the little ribbon that are there to help you tie it down and keep it away from the cot itself I'm using to tie on the outside of where the main part of your body would be. So the next step and the final step is basically to take care of the part which is right there which is left hanging open um, to complete basically to seal inside before we actually get in it. Okay, this is the next stage of the setup. As you can see on the ends, what I did from the actual lacing there, the extra material that was hanging down, I just bunched all together, made sure that there was no open space, and used a simple slip knot to bundle it and tie it all together. This was done on both sides so that you have on the outside of the knot you have a tie point on the inside by where your head or foot would be you have another tie point with the webbing and then the remaining material is bunched up together and cinched together so that there's no open space for any of the nasty little flying things to get through and bite you okay this is the tie-in at the very end on the outside of the knot for the hammock this is the little slip knot that I had everything bunched together to close up all the open spots. This is where the webbing is tied together, about where the outside of where the foot would be. And this is basically how it looks with all of the pillows and quilts on the inside. As you can see, as someone were to get inside, the netting itself would have to wrap around the person in the hammock itself and that's where the unit itself will seal in but as you can tell this is open here so to get in you go between the hammock and the webbing here stand up go in the go in or you can pull it part way over and get in pull it part way over and get in and then flip it back down and as you can see, it pretty well conforms to the hammock itself. This gives you an end shot, which is a pretty good representation of how this system will seal up. And if you're worried at all about it not sealing properly, you can tie a little bit further down and leave yourself less space in the middle to get in. Well, I hope this comes through. I'm shooting against the sky. But um, this is a little bit of a detail. We have a prussic knot to a mini beaner to the utility line on the inside of the net itself and that goes all the way to the other side where I have another beaner and another prussic knot. As always thank you for your attention and I'll see you out there in the woods. Be safe. Bye.